The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Is mighty. Is mighty. The Lord thy God. Beginning all the way back in the year 2000, the Mesa congregation has been deeply involved in the work in Guyana. We've held all kinds of campaigns, both in the back country and in the suburbs around Georgetown. We've held uh, uh, campaigns and we've established congregations in Karasabai, uh, Madia, Camarang, Monkey Mountain, Sophia, Maikoni, Kurukabaru, uh, Herstelling, Charity, so many other places. We have gotten on airplanes and we've flown back into the back country. And we've ridden in uh, pop hold uh, streets, we've ridden in vans, we've even gotten on board boats and gone up and down the rivers uh, preaching the gospel to people. We've preached in sheds like this one, we've preached in made over grocery stores like this one. People would come from miles and miles around to spend the entire day and hear us teach and they would stay over that night to hear us preach the gospel. We've preached under tarpaulins uh, with, held up by poles like this place. We've held gospel meetings in schoolhouses like this one. We have preached under uh, gas lights We've preached in marketplaces. We have held meetings under tents. And our people, of course, during the day would go out and they'd hold Bible studies. And they would do that uh, even in the streets, as this man was doing. You know, if we could find someone that wanted to hear the good news, we would just sit down where we could and make ourselves comfortable. Sometimes we have students that would come to the schools that we rented so that we could preach to them and teach them the word. And the reason for that, of course, is that there are souls out there that need to be won to Christ and brought into the kingdom. Whether we're in the back country or in Georgetown and the surrounding the suburbs, uh, people hear the gospel, repent of their sins, confess Jesus, and are baptized. We then can rejoice with them knowing that they too are part of the kingdom just as we are. But the joy is being able to go to where people are hungry for the word even though we know that uh, sometimes we even have to hear it in strange circumstances. We make excuses as Christians to worship God and praise God and to do the things that God wants us to do. Remember, Paul is right in here. And uh, another joy is being able to see young people being in the church and becoming members of the church, uh, many, many young people, teenagers and a little bit older, are turning to Christ there. And uh, the Bible studies go on and on. This is the joy of the work in Guyana. And this is the work that you uh, cause because you give your money generously and freely uh, so that we can go to Guyana and we can preach there and uh, in other places too, Ghana, uh, Thailand, so many places around the world. Many, many of us who are involved in mission work are praying that we'll have a great harvest on the Mission Sunday there in Mesa. Give and then give some more. Forever and ever,